Welcome to today's Daily Dose of Amuna, the last part of the conclusion of Anger, Part 3. I once overheard a really beautiful story about anger. It goes like this. A tzaddik once sat on a riverbank surrounded by his disciples, and he looked around and he spotted a group of family members shouting at one another. The tzaddik turned to his students and he asked, why do people shout at each other in anger? So the students thought for a while and one of them answered, maybe because we lose our calm? So the tzaddik said, but why should you shout when the other person is right next to you? You can tell him what you have to say in a soft manner. So the students offered other answers and the tzaddik was still not satisfied. But finally he explained, when two people are angry at each other, their hearts are distant. To overcome that distance, they have to shout to be able to hear one another. In contrast, what happens when two people are in love? They talk softly because their hearts are very close. The distance is either non-existent or small. The tzaddik continued, when they love each other more, what happens then? They do not even have to speak, only whisper. Finally, when they grow even closer to one another, they don't even need a whisper. They only need to look at each other and know what the other is saying. That's how close two people in love really are. So he looked at the students and he said, so when you argue, don't let your hearts grow apart. Don't say words that create a gap. Otherwise, there may come a day when the distance is so great, you will find yourself screaming to the one who is right next to you and not sense that he is near. Something to think about, truly, in terms of anger and controlling our anger. Bezat Hashem, let's make it a great Amunafil day.